Oh, what's good, my chickies? It is Four Cylinder coming at you live with another YouTube vibe on the One End Gaming channel. Uh, this is my second commentary on this channel. And uh, in the first one, I didn't really get to talk a lot to you. I was talking about the One End Comp reboot, which is still going on. It's still a work in progress. But more on that later. We won't talk about that right now. Uh, let's break down the gameplay that you're seeing right in front of you. This is the 59 kill free-for-all challenge. When this was brought up to me, I thought this was complete bullshit. I didn't think this could be done. Uh, obviously, this isn't the world's first 59 kill free-for-all challenge. But uh, Cryptic is a monster, and we wanted to do something and diversify what's going on on one end right now. So that's uh, where this comes from. Now, if you don't know what the 59 kill free-for-all challenge is, you get 29 kills back out of the lobby, rejoin a recent player, come in and win the free-for-all and get those 30 kills to end the game. It sounds crazy. Uh, I'm watching this video right now for the very first time. Cryptic is doing this at a very high speed. He's got 10 kills in the first minute, um, which is insane. I didn't think this could be done. I thought it was a joke when it was brought up on the one end, you know, Twitter feed, but uh, Cryptic took it and was like, yeah, I mean, I'll do that right now. So he went ahead, did it. When I get back into playing Call of Duty Ghosts full time, uh, I'm gonna start doing some crazy shit on the main channel as well. Uh, I want to start dropping chems with weapons that like not a lot of people use. Maybe a pistol only chem. Uh, really crappy SMGs or LMGs or snipers or I don't know. Uh, battle? What are they called? They're not battle rifles. What are they called? Man, I think I'm playing Halo. What are those new marksman rifles? There we go. Good addition to Call of Duty. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's enough about this gameplay. It's about nine-ish minutes long. I guess when he joins back, it's going to take him a little longer to, to catch up or, or whatnot. But it's about nine minutes long. So I'm going to do my very best to entertain you for these entire nine minutes. As you all know, I'm Four Cylinder. I'm kind of ish brand new to one end. Uh, I'm one of the newest members, I guess. Me and Cryptic are probably two of the newer members. Prowler as well, if I'm not 100% mistaken. Uh, right now, I just finished playing Need for Speed Rivals. I just got a 1,000 gamer score. All achievements on that game. Uh, I'm not completely a first-person shooter Call of Duty gamer. When I really get involved and, and just focused on a first-person shooter like Call of Duty, I'll spend all my time on it. And to be completely honest with you, Ghost has been the Call of Duty so far that I've put the less time in since, like, Call of Duty 2. So since, like, the last 10, 8, 9, 10 years, whatever it's been since Call of Duty 2, uh, this game has been the, the, the least played that I've played any Call of Duty. Since then, I think I only have three days so far on the game, and the game's been out since November. I'm not going to pretend like I'm good at math, but I believe that's three, four months. Not 100% sure, don't quote. But yeah, in three, four months, I put about three days on the game. It's not a lot. I mean, you see people with seven, eight, even more days than that on there, but I'm sure I'll reach max prestige by the time the next Call of Duty comes out, but maybe not. We got a lot of games coming out. We got uh, Titanfall. Destiny, another big first-person shooter. Halo 5 is rumored to be coming out in, like, September. Uh, he just drops the chem strike, and I believe he may back out. Yeah, he does. He backs out so the game doesn't end, so he, uh, you know, kills everybody in the lobby. So now he's going to go ahead and rejoin. Uh, anyways. Anyway. Oh, yeah. And another big thing. If this, if what I'm saying is off a little to the gameplay, it might not be off a few seconds. What it is, cuz, I mean, it just it just is what it is. I'm commentating over the gameplay while I'm watching it. Maybe there's a minute or so delay. But anyway, back to it. Halo 5 might be coming back, in, or might be coming out, part of me, in September. You got Titanfall in less than a month. Destiny coming out in September. I believe that that has been confirmed. I believe that they announced a release date for Destiny. Written in stone release date for Destiny. And I believe it's September something. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong... One of the loyal one end subscribers, let me know down below. Tell me how wrong and how dumb I am in the comments section uh, down below. But yeah, uh, Destiny's coming out, Titanfall, Watch Dogs, Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, there's so many games. And I encourage you, if all you do is play Call of Duty, because I know Call of Duty in huge lumps when you're really playing it a lot can become, uh, you know, a little bit of a burden. Like, it just, it just pisses you off. It makes you hate the people you're playing with. You start yelling at each other and whatnot. It's always great to take a step back from the competitive first-person shooter scene and just, you know, maybe get lost in a role-playing game where your main concern is, you know, like crafting an armor or some shit. I mean, it's really fun to just take a step back from pwning the noobs, from giving, as Pat says, the jump shot nutsack to all these kids on COD. 
Uh, it's fun to just, you know, take a step back and play something else. Play some Minecraft, or play some shit, I don't know. Play whatever you want to play. But anyways, yeah, those games are coming out. Another big thing that was announced is that Treyarch, almighty fucking Treyarch, will not be making the next Call of Duty. So they are now making the 2015 Call of Duty. So one that's about, you know, 20 months away is the one that Treyarch are making. And the next game that's coming out is by Sledgehammer Games. If you guys don't know who these dudes are, they made... Well, they helped Infinity Ward make Modern Warfare 3. And uh, Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion, was better than Ghosts. I think it was a much better game than what Ghosts is. Um, main problem with Ghosts is that you die... Like, you don't even go red. If you're getting shot at, your, your screen doesn't go red. It doesn't blink. It doesn't do nothing. You're just fucking flat out dead. You just drop to the ground like you just got kicked by Anderson Silver or some shit. And, um... So yeah, Modern Warfare 3 was a great game. I really liked it. That's really where my competitive roots started to bud and grow. And um, not to say that I'm excited that Sledgehammer is, you know, manufacturing this game or designing this game. I'd much rather it be Treyarch. But the fact that Treyarch now has a three-year development cycle for their next game, which I'm hoping is Black Ops 3. I'm hoping it looks, plays, sounds, everything exactly like Black Ops 2 was. And uh, that'll be a great three years. So, to put it into perspective, all the last Call of Duty's you've been seeing have been coming out on about a two-year life cycle, or development cycle, and even so, when it's a two-year development cycle, it's basically one year or less development. So let's just say Infinity Ward put out Ghost. For the next year, they're going to be supporting this game post-launch. They're going to be putting out patches. They're going to be downloading or uh, making downloadable content for you guys. So for the next year, their focus mainly is going to be on Ghost. So that eliminates a year right there. So I guess in hindsight, uh, development gets shut down by about a year. Uh, just so, you know, the developer can support and uh, make sure their game <clears throat> is the best game on the market. But yeah, so there you have it. Treyarch is not developing the next Call of Duty. It's a major piss off, uh, I guess, to some people. But in the long run, I mean, who cares? Their game's coming in 2015. Look what Grand Theft Auto V did with like a five, six year development cycle. Look at what these games do with like a five and six year development cycle. Imagine if Assassin's Creed was on a five year development cycle. They release a humongous open world, a new open world environment on top of that every single year in Ubisoft. Like I, I just, I can't comprehend it. Imagine if, you know, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag had a five-year development cycle like Grand Theft Auto V did. I mean, it would have been insane. That game was so beautiful, so perfect. And maybe if they took the five years, we would have got some more features. Like, maybe there would have been naval combat and multiplayer like there isn't right now. So, I'm not upset one bit that Treyarch's game is pushed back a year. I'm upset about the fact that maybe we'll deal with another mediocre Call of Duty before we get a good Call of Duty. Uh, so, yeah, this video is is wrapping up i believe there's about a minute or so left so i hope that you enjoyed my commentary i hope you did enjoy uh, me babbling on about some things and if you did enjoy go ahead click that like click that subscribe button right here to one end gaming if you like me as a person come on over to my channel i try and entertain you the best i can over there it is youtube.com forward slash cylinder tv but for now my name is four cylinder and i will catch you Next time.